bakery products let us see in detail about the spoilages that occur in the bakery products bakery products are the important staple food in most country and culture so a large population of this world consume different types of baked products and it is a staple food in many countries and in several cultures bakery products and cereals are a valuable source of nutrients they provide different type of nutrients to our diet and it provides us with most of our food calories they are rich in carbohydrates thereby they provide us fuel for the body or they provide us energy and approximately half of our protein requirement apart from providing energy they also supply half of the protein requirement cereals have been a basic food of man since prehistoric times and were consumed even long before bread making was developed even uh, bread made up only at the later stages earlier only cereal was the main food that man consumed variety of breads and other bakery products have increased in sale volume within the past few decades earlier bread was not consumed in a large scale but in the recent past the consumption of the baked products has increased enormously bakery products are the important staple food in most countries and culture like we eat rice and the north indians eat uh, wheat the bread and the baked products they are the staple food in many countries bakery products and cereals are a valuable source of nutrients in our diet and it provides us with most of our food calories they provide most of the energy and approximately half of our protein cereals have been a basic food of man since prehistoric times and were consumed even long before bread making was developed variety of breads and other bakery products have increased in volume within the past decades the nutrients that are present in the bakery products are carbohydrates proteins lipids vitamins and minerals bakery industry in india is the largest of the food industry when we see the different types of food industry bakery industry is one of the largest india is the second largest producer of biscuits after united states of america the biscuit industry in india comprises of organized as well as unorganized sector it is produced commercially large scale as an organized sector and it is also produced at household level or cottage industry level which is an unorganized sector breads and biscuits form the major baked foods accounting for 80% of total bakery products produced in the country out of the entire bakery products 80% is the bread and the biscuits the quantities of bread and biscuits produced are more or less the same bakery products once it was considered as a sick man's diet only when people are uh, having fever or diarrhea or vomiting we used to eat bread but now it has become an essential food item of a vast majority of the population so now it is consumed by the general population in different forms like sandwiches or uh, toast in different form bread or uh, baked products are consumed though bakery industry in india has been in existence since long real philip came only in the later part of the 20th century right bakery industry was there traditionally different types of baked products were produced in india but it became more popular only in the later part of the 20th century the contributing factors for the popularity of the baked products were due to urbanization resulting in increased demand for ready to eat products at reasonable cost so urbanization has brought in lot of lifestyle changes including changes in the food habits and this has led to 
increased demand for the ready to eat baked products importance of bakery products has expanded especially the use of whole and natural grains and other natural ingredients though bakery products use only a few ingredients like the flour sugar milk and fat these are the major ingredients that are involved in the preparation of the baked products but now people are becoming health conscious and because of the changed perspective of the people around the world they are trying to make baked baked products into a healthy food by incorporating the whole grains because the whole grains they contain fiber whereas when you use the refined wheat flour it does not contain fiber so the whole grains are used and the natural grains are used natural ingredients are used in order to make the baked products more healthy furthermore bakery products are considered as a source of carbohydrates because they are rich in starch starch is the main chemical component that are present in the baked products bakery products are subjected to different types of spoilage they include physical spoilage chemical spoilage and the microbial spoilage since the most common factor of bakery product is water activity microbial spoilage in particular mold growth is the major economical problem of bakery product when compared to the cereal grains the amount of moisture present in the baked product is more and when more amount of moisture the chances of getting spoiled also is more because it is a good environment for the growth of microorganisms mold spoilage is a serious and costly problem for bakeries because when there is mold growth in a product the product is unfit for human consumption it has to be discarded and therefore it may cause serial serious economic losses commercially produced and popularly handled bread generally lacks sufficient amount of moisture to allow growth of any type of microorganism when bread is produced commercially and if it is handled properly that is when it is fully mechanized when there is no contact with human beings then the growth of microorganisms in the bread is less less chance of mold growth is there as normal cooking temperature destroys fungal spores post process contamination from airborne spores and contact with contamination surface must be prevented as i said in the earlier point that when the entire process of bread making is mechanized there are less chances for microbial spoilage right but the contamination the spoilage can occur after the bread has been prepared that is post process contamination that is when the bread is baked we allow the bread to come back to the room, uh, room temperature and during this process the air bone spores the spores that are present in the air may deposit on the bread and this may contaminate the surface so this these types of contamination should be prevented filamentous fungi involved in the spoilage of bread include the rhizopus species mucor penicillium erotium aspergillus and monilia cytophila these are some of the filamentous fungi that causes spoilage of bread one of the most common is the rhizopus stolonifer so this is the mold that commonly spoils the bread and it is referred to as the bread mold storage of bread and the conditions of low humidity retards mold growth if the amount of moisture content is less the fungus cannot grow and it cannot cause spoilage in the bread this is called as the bread mold you can see the 
the extent to which the bread mold has grown spongy in appearance and here you can see the how the uh, hypha, hypha, hypha has grown and the formation of spores, the sporangium, sporangiophores, etc. when the bread has been spoiled due to the growth of the mold. These are few other molds that can cause spoilage. The green color patches that are found in the bread is due to the growth of the pencilium and cladosporium can also cause spoilage in the bread. In addition to the economic losses associated with bakery products, another concern is the possibility of mycotoxin production. So whenever there is fungal growth in the product, the product is unfit for consumption. So there is an economic loss. Apart from that, because of the growth of mold, the mycotoxins has been produced in the products. Eurotium species are usually the first fungi to colonize. So they easily grow on the bread. Eurotium, they easily grow on the bread. And this is followed by aspergillus and pencilium, which can produce toxins in the bread. Losses of bakery products due to mold spoilage vary between 1 to 5 percent. Out of the entire baked products, about 5 percent is lost due to mold spoilage and this depends upon the season, right? Whether it is a cold season or whether it is a warm season, the spoilage is more in cold season when it is winter, when it is rainy, right? The more spoilage can occur. And it also depends upon the type of products. So what the product is, whether it is a cookie or a bread. The bread gets easily contaminated when compared with cookie. And the mold growth will be more in the bread when contaminated with the cookies. Because cookies, the moisture content is less. And in bread, the moisture content will be more. And also it depends upon the method of processing. How it is processed also uh, would be a cause for the contamination and the spoilage of the baked foods. Bakery products are an important source of nutrients like energy, protein, iron, calcium and several vitamins. Commercial bread and biscuits contain about 7.5% to 7.8% of protein. Bakery products are good targets for fiber enrichment. So you can easily enrich. Enriching is the process where you can add additional nutrients. Or fortification is very easy, can be easily done in the baked products. Because when you prepare the dough for the preparation of various baked products, whatever nutrient you want, you can incorporate into the dough. So it can be easily enriched. So fiber is one of the uh, important enrichment that is done to the baked products because there is a decline in fiber consumption in European diet partially due to the refining of cereals. So most of the baked products are prepared out of the refined wheat flour and the refined wheat flour does not contain fiber. In order to overcome this problem fiber can be added into the dough during the preparation of the baked products. Most claims concerning the fiber content refer to the inherent fibers from the whole grain. Fiber is present in the whole grain. But what do we do? We refine them. In the processing of the cereals, we refine them and the fiber is lost. Fiber enrichment of several bakery products has recently been tested using an ingredient containing 95% short chain fructo oligosaccharides. So several types of fibers has been incorporated into the bakery products and one that is uh, very popularly incorporated as fiber into the baked products are the fructo oligosaccharides. These are soluble and are naturally found in many vegetables including wheat, ray, onion, Jerusalem artichoke, and they are structurally close to sucrose. Therefore, they behave like sugar regarding the rheology. So, the fructo oligosaccharide 
they are available in several vegetable products and the structure of the fructo oligosaccharide is somewhat similar to that of the sucrose and they behave like sugar when you consider the rheological property of the uh, baked product the consumption of white bread has decreased in the last two decades in the western societies while the sale of whole wheat bran bread have increased due to health concerns people have become very healthy conscious and therefore they are substituting the white bread that is prepared out of the refined wheat flour with the whole wheat bran bread which contain which has been prepared using whole wheat and that also contains bran sales of flat breads especially the pita bread have been increasing in the western societies due to migration of cultures and societies apart from the regular bread the pita bread that is also a type of bread its consumption has increased because it is prepared from whole wheat and is rich in fiber bread products can be classified based on the methods of fermentation the bread volume and also the water activity in the last few years the bakery products and flour confectionery sector both the bakery products and the confectionery sector confectionery sector are the uh, uh, industries that prepare different types of snacks has witnessed particularly intense technological progress so different type of technologies new inventions have uh, have given rise to different technological progress which has brought clear and tangible changes that because of the technological improvement plenty of changes has taken place in the production of baked products not only in terms of commercial and qualitative characteristics of the products but also in the terms of process innovation so different types of new processes are evolving day by day and it has led to modernization in the baking industry usually bakery products are packaged in plastic films so you we wrap them with a plastic paper after baking and cooling and they are consumed within 1 to 2 months therefore post process contamination is unavoidable so the bread is prepared it is packed in plastic papers or film and this is not consumed immediately the bread is not consumed immediately we consume it only after a few days it may sometimes it can even be stored for a few months before we consume therefore during the storage of the baked products there are, there are possibilities of contamination which is called as the post process contamination